Hi, this is Kyle Anderson here at EW Pop Fest. I'm here with my superhero insider co-host Natalie Abrams. Uh, more importantly, though, sorry, Natalie. Uh, we are joined by uh, the stars of the uh, CW Arrowverse series: uh, Grant Gustin, Stephen Amell back there, Melissa Benoist, Katie Lotz on the couch with me, and of course Greg Berlanti, uh, the big brain, uh, back there. Guys, welcome to EW Pop Fest. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Really great. Pretty Good. great. <laughs> Great. We're not tired all right, at all. all right. I, uh, uh, I do hope you had more enthusiasm uh, while shooting uh, uh, the big crossover. Because it seems like uh, you'd have to, uh, and, uh, and, and I would assume that everybody gets along, or at least they were forced to get along uh, over the course of uh, making that big event. They actually, we actually really do get along. Yeah, I think genuinely. It's the best part I like of it. everyone. Eh. Except for that uh, guy. For the most part. Grant, Grant says nay. Grant votes nay. But it really shows on screen. You, you'll see. I've watched it. You guys haven't watched it yet, but you all seem like you so like each other on screen. Yeah. So it really is. Such really good shows. actors. And you see the dailies too. I do. I see and the dailies all, also. Yeah. The okay, reason you that got, the dailies there's a lot take, of camaraderie yeah. and there's a real sense of family and stuff yeah. amongst the on, on the when you watch it. But as actors, you get along. How about your characters? How do they get along during the crossover? Mostly get along, but there's some headbutting. Like who's the leader? Who's like who's going to lead in this situation? Y you know, it's a bunch of superheroes. So. I think so Sarah is kind of intimidated by Supergirl, because she's like <laughs> so used to being like the like the bad chick, and then this girl like comes in and like can levitate, and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and all right. Oliver, Oliver's I a bit you. standoffish with Supergirl, uh -huh. which probably means that he's smitten. <laughs> and Supergirl just wants to be a part of the club. <laughs> she just wants to fit in. <laughs> uh, now, during the crossover, we're also hitting the 100th episode. Congratulations. Uh, looking back on those 100, what's been your favorite moment? The pilot. Always the pilot. The pilot um, and, you know, getting it done and having David Nutter turn to me during a random scene that actually got cut from the pilot. Um, and, and he turned to me, he was like, undeniable. This is going to series. And that whole experience was, was really cool. I'm sure that Grant had a similar experience during the Flash pilot. But, yeah, uh, awesome. you know, the, you never know what you're going to do when you put on the suit for the first time. And then you put it on and see what happens. And so always the pilot. Is it true for everybody else? Is it is sort of the, is it the, your, your entry point into these characters? Has that been a real highlight? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, it, you really do get to know what you're capable of when you put that suit on. And, mm -hmm. Um, it tests your limits and in really amazing ways, and I think the pilot is the way of getting to know that inside of yourself. It does take time to get used to that suit, though. So it's hard. Like I feel so much more comfortable in my suit now, thinking back to the pilot, trying to be like, "Oh, I'm a superhero." But <laughs> now you're just like, you know, you're. It's fun. You're loose. You're comfortable. So yeah. How yeah, hard is like it to put those on, though? Suit. I have the most. Oh, you're being it's sarcastic. Like, no. Oh, no, you're being serious. <laughs> <laughs> or you seem most comfortable in your suit, I will say. But is, is it very difficult to get into that? Uh, y yeah. I mean, it's a corset. <laughs> yeah. So it's very, uh, like, and leather, and it's just, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, but it looks great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what matters. So who, who now dresses the fastest? Uh, I'm pretty it would quick. would not be me. You're, yeah, you're I'm pretty prob quick. I'm probably, you're, you're probably the fastest. Well, that I would have make to be dressed. I, I can't even dress myself. <laughs> <laughs> what, you dress yourself? I can't. Yeah, I, I can't, can't dress myself. myself. You I really? Have to, I have to have help. Though. Like, you don't, like, I can't get out of it. Yeah, Once I'm in there, in I'm in it, it yeah. for hours and hours and hours. If I no didn't way. have to lace my boots, I'd be pretty quick. The season one costume was fast, but yeah. <laughs> Greg, how long does it take you to get dressed? Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. I, I literally impressive. hopped in the shower ten minutes before I had to leave to come here. <laughs> so, Greg, I have to ask, we're going to finally get the uh, Supergirl Flash musical crossover this year. Has that been, you know, considering how many people are singers on these casts, has yes. that been kind of a long time coming? I, it is for me just in the fact that, I, it, that so many of them are talented in that way, and, and uh, it's kind of a dream and a fusion of things that I just personally love. It's we. Just, our brains are all just starting to think about it now because the last crossover was so consuming. I mean, it's, it really is, even though it sort of starts in a mini way, the initial one in the fall that's coming up and on Supergirl, it still was like doing a three hour film while they're also all simultaneously doing all of their, we're still shooting scenes from it actually, or, or yesterday, yesterday I think, yeah. yeah. So, so it's so all, uh, you know, all encompassing. And, uh, and so now, uh, uh, you know, we're just starting to, to, to pivot to the ones in the later in the year.
Yeah. Well, Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow uh, all are on the CW. Just turn on CW and never change it is basically my <laughs> advice for most people. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming in and hanging out at EW Pop Fest. Thank you, thank you guys for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. And stay tuned for more.